perhaps a, a, an award or something to signify a significant accomplishment in bowling. What we've got here are uh, nine pieces uh, in this nice frame that we made. It looks just like a bowling pin. It's about 13 inches long. Uh, and the wood is uh, all American hardwood, uh, quite substantial. As you can see, it's it's a uh, quarter inch thick wood. And your goal is to get them in into the uh, into the to the pin. Uh, may look easy, but uh, trust me, it's not. Uh, we took it to league night Friday, and um, uh, it was uh, a long time before anybody solved it, and a lot of people worked on it. But great fun. Um, you've got, um, as it's shown here, kind of the standard. Uh, we've got this happens to be cherry and maple, but we may use alder or for the for the darker wood or uh, the lighter wood maybe ash. Um, this is maple. Um, uh, we may mix up the woods a little bit, but generally have this appearance. Uh, and I do have uh, just finished today a, a female figure too. So you know here's the the female bowler, and um, we've got one for the male also. And they're just uh, interchangeable. So you can pick the uh, style that you would like. Now, another thing we uh, can do for this is that we can laser engrave uh, something into the ball. You notice I've left quite a bit of space on the ball here. For example, I, I did one for my, my friend here, and I don't know if you can see that. Um, uh, but, you know, it, made, this is a, it happened to be in his 12 300 uh, game. Um, or some significant accomplishment. Maybe it's your first 200 game, who knows. Um, uh, but it would make for a really nice uh, presentation. Uh, also, if you should buy this, and uh, let's say to commemorate a, a significant game, and later on you, you do better, uh, you can just order the ball, laser engraved. And for uh, $4, I will send you a, a new ball. It will fit right into your puzzle with whatever the new information is, and that, that includes shipping. So um, that's something that if you want to keep this puzzle essentially alive over the years, uh, and to commemorate what you've done, you, you can do that. It's your option. Now, I, I, I also can do, uh, upon request, some, some bit of specials. I can vary this wood up. Um, I can use acrylics, too. I tried a few things, playing around with this thing. This is these are some pins out of white acrylic. Um, this is uh, just kind of a different look. It has, uh, this is maple, but it's a red stain maple. Uh, this, is, uh, this is maple in here also. Use a lot of ash too. Um, this is a similar look. Here's a walnut. Here's the man in the ball out of walnut. Um, here is an actual uh, pin uh, made out of the uh, acrylic. Of course, your person would go in here. Uh, a little more expensive on the uh, acrylic. It's uh, it's actually more expensive than wood and, and much more difficult to uh, work with. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I hope this is something that you uh, might enjoy. It's uh, totally unique to us and um, made in Spring Hill, Florida. Thank you very much.